Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. Well, we are back with another very interesting topic for you all, right? So, commonly confused phrases with bear and bear. So, both of these words, if you observe, they sound the same, but their meanings are different and their spellings are also different, right? So, if you see this word bear, right, B-E-A-R, which means to actually carry something or to tolerate, right? But if you look at this word B-A-R-E, this actually means minimal or simple or naked, right? So both of these words are very, very commonly confused, usually whenever, uh, you know, there are expressions which are associated with them, whenever these expressions are used, they are commonly, um, most of the times we go wrong with the spellings, we confuse them both, right? We might be aware of the expression, but the spellings, we might end up confusing them. Or for that matter, uh, you know, we might as well confuse their meanings. So it's extremely important for us to clear this confusion completely and fully to actually use them in our language. And we, of course, uh, as we all know, are on this mission of making, refining, polishing our language and making it very, very streamlined, very, very seamless, very, very effortless and beautifully, uh, you know, presented and quoted, right? So for that reason, it is absolutely imperative. It is very, very important. It is really essential uh, to be very, very clear of these minute, uh, uh, you know, things which we might end up uh, creating errors with in our language, right? So let us go ahead and study about the expressions which are used with both of these words and what is the meaning and the correct usage uh, of those expressions based on the situation that we are in, right? Let us go ahead. Okay, so first of all, if you observe this expression, bear with me, right? So this actually means to be patient with me, right? Bear with me. So bear as you, uh, if you remember when I told you the meaning, what is the meaning of bear? The meaning of, of bear is to carry something or to endure something, right? Or so that exactly. So if you link the meaning with this context, definitely you are very clear about this expression, right? So bear with me means to be patient with me. So could you please bear with me? My situation is not as good or, or bear with me while I learn to drive or or bear with me um, you know while I'm working on this so this is the correct usage of this expression and I am sure now you are definitely not lurking in this confusion because you are very clear about the exact meaning and why and as to why have we chosen this bear over the other bear right so if you look at an example my husband bears with me even, uh, you know, when I am grumpy, what a beautiful statement. I'm sure all the ladies watching this out there definitely can relate to it, right? So next time, whenever you make the statement, be very sure as to which bear would you use in this, right? Okay, going ahead. Bear in mind. So bear this thing in mind. What does it actually mean? It actually means keep in mind, right? So bear, as you already know, means to carry something, to, uh, you know, be patient with something, uh, right? So bear this thing in mind. If you put it in simple words, it could also mean to carry this thing in mind. So if you uh, relate to it, it definitely means to keep this thing in mind. So of course, bear in bear this in your mind that you are in office. So be very careful about the language that you are using. So this could also be an expression of bear in mind, right? So here, if you look at an example, bear in mind that the forecast calls for rain today. So bear in mind this thing while you are driving. So bear in mind would be like, you know, take cognizance of this thing or be attentive about the fact or be aware about a particular fact that you're talking about, right? So that is the contextual use of bear. Okay, bear the cost. So bear, right? So you are bearing the cost or you are, uh, you know, you, you are the one who is actually 
are going to pay for a particular expense or cost of of any uh, particular thing that we are talking about uh, to pay for something right so come my company bears the cost of uh, the medical expenses or uh, you know i'm going to bear the cost of this entire uh, party that we are going to throw today so this is the contextual usage of uh, bear the cost so bear the cost means to actually uh, you know pay for that particular thing that you're talking about okay so how about this expression bear minimum now comes this other bear into picture so the first bear which we studied about was uh, to carry something or uh, to be patient with something right now when you talk about this bear this bear actually means something that is very simple very very minimal uh, you know or naked is also uh, one meaning of this expression uh, this word right bear so how do you use it in expressions and what is the correct usage of this expression so uh, so look at this bear minimum what is the meaning of bear minimum bear minimum means the least possible or or the least uh, you know that you can do so um, you know whatever i have done for you is bare minimum uh, compared to what you have done for me right so that is how you're going to use it so bare minimum actually means very less very minimal very very simple right that is the meaning of this expression now here is uh, you know why you need to actually uh, learn this expression now imagine that we are all aware right this would mean very very simple now one is uh, whenever you are speaking or whenever you want to get this thing in your language you're going to say this this is very very simple you know the party is very simple and if you want to uh, you know hone your skills a bit if you want to wet your language a bit you're going to say uh, this party is bare minimum that i gave you right so that is again a very subtle very simple a very very small step that you took towards improvising your language right so this is um you know what is important while you are learning to speak english that you definitely learn how to uh, use modified words or or different words which actually make your language decorate your language far better right so this is again a very important and a subtle way of improving your language okay so bare minimum of course you all are clear about now how about bare weight right so bear weight what does that mean it means to support right you are uh, or, or you want to i'm going to bear the weight of um, the expense right or or i'm going to um, look look at an example the builders designed the structure to bear the weight right to bear weight means to support so that is how it is supporting you right he is going to um, you know bear the weight of entire campaigning which we are going to take which which is going to take place or in in other words that means to support so that person is going to support my camp so this is how you're going to get it into use now same word you you could have used support right but just to make your language slightly more polished and refined you use this expression and when you used this of course uh, it definitely uh, broke free that seal of simple and repeated usage of words which usually we do right it breaks free that loop right so that is the importance of learning these different expressions okay now bear the pain what does that mean bear the pain means to endure the pain or to um, or to you know you are actually um, what do you say you're carrying the pain or you are uh, somehow you're being patient with that pain so you are enduring the pain so endure the pain uh, alternatively can also be called as bear the pain for example ask for an aspirin if you cannot bear the pain so bear the pain of being with me my friend this could uh, you know could be used in light hearted way uh, you know i am the one who's going to bear the pain of 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 standing you for so long right so this is also a, a different uh, you know way in which you can use this expression having said that of course um, this is the literal meaning means to uh, to actually endure a particular pain which definitely i think uh, would be physical pain of course you can definitely also uh, use it for mental pain okay to bear fruit now what does that mean to bear fruit it means to have positive results right she bared the fruit of her hard work though it did take time so 
you know, you've been working on a particular thing for uh, for a, a very, very long time. And now after after a whole, uh, you know, wait of a uh, wait of maybe a decade or maybe years or maybe months or weeks, whatever, you actually got the results, very, very positive results. So that is when um, you might want to use this expression, right? So studying really bears fruit on exam day. So which means of course, we all know if we put in hard work bit by bit every day, it is going to bear us the fruit someday or the other. That is what is meant by this, right? So this was a whole new world um, which was primarily centered around bear and bear. And you learned how to use these two words in your language to actually uh, upskill your, your, your language to a level wherein it actually um, you know sounds very very effortless right so friends this was all about bear and bear we will see you again in the next video till that time keep practicing these expressions in your language put the muse in your language so that you are uh, you know they are very very um, you know easy going uh, while you are speaking you can they are as if they are as simple a part and parcel of your life and it is nothing new that you are putting in right it should sound very very seamless and effortless while you are using them in your language so friends keep learning with tutorials point and tutorials we will see you again in the next video have a good day